it's a beautiful day on a dairy farm, a beautiful day for a farm tour. Hey guys, I'm Katie. Welcome to Cow Comfort in Dairy, where cows enjoy their stay. I'm going to show you the farm today. So, if you uh, can bear with me, do you like my socks? They have macaroni and cheese on them. So I'm going to slip into my barn boots here and show you a little bit about what we do here at a dairy farm. We run big tractors and we feed hay and the calves lay on straw, which you're gonna see here in a little bit. So there's a big difference between straw and hay, okay? So on straw they like to lay, but they eat hay. Can you remember that? All right, let's go this way. So guys, we're in the daycare, we're in the nursery. Do you know what a nursery is? So a nursery is where all the newborns go. So you were a baby once, and so I'm gonna show you baby calves. Are you ready? So this little one was born just yesterday. Let's take a look. <laughs> so she's pretty big for just being born yesterday, isn't she? Do you know calves can walk within an hour of birth? Just one hour after being alive, they can walk on all four legs, which is really neat. They also get a collar, so we know that each of them gets a number until they get their permanent ear tag. Just like a birth certificate, like you got when you were born. And when it's cold outside, every calf here gets a calf jacket. These make sure that the calf retains her body heat, so the heat that she's giving off of her body Make sure the calf stays nice and warm. Isn't she cute? Calves are also born with bottom teeth. She might show you hers. <laughs> and her neighbor was also born yesterday. Let's take a look at her too. Her neighbor's sleeping. This one's number is number eight. So this girl, does anybody play soccer? Because number eight was my number when I played soccer when I was a kid. So she's a little sleepy. She just got fed. Our cows get fed twice a day, every single day, and they get lots of milk. Let's see what else they eat. So in front of every calf, always have fresh water. They get fresh water every single day and they also get fresh grain. So this smells really, really sweet. Kind of like frosted flakes. That's what I think it smells like. And because they're a baby, we have to feed them with a bottle. This is a calf bottle. It's a pretty big bottle, isn't it? A bigger bottle than you're probably used to. So this holds six pints or three quarts. So it holds a lot of milk and each calf gets one of these twice a day. So they get fed in the morning at 5.30 a.m. before you probably wake up and 5.30 p.m. So they go in here like this. This is usually filled with milk. And so the nipple goes in there and they can drink when they want to. Cletus, come here, buddy. Come here, Cletus. I want you to meet my dog if I can find him. Maybe we'll find him. Oh, there he is. Come here. Come here, you guys ready? This is my dog, Cletus. Cletus, will you sit? Sit. He gets confused. Sometimes he thinks he's a calf. But he's the same color, isn't he? Okay, so guys, after we put the calves in here, so as you can see, they're individual pets. And we do that for a reason. We do that for the safety of the animal because sometimes mom Mom is really big. Cows are really big animals. So we need to make sure that they don't step on their babies or roll over on their babies and hurt them. So we make sure they have a safe environment and we also can monitor their health a lot better this way. So they're in here for about 14 days, which is about two weeks. Because we need to make sure that their immune system, their system that fights off bacteria and infections, uh, grows to be really, really strong. So after 14 days, or about, we move them over here. So hold up. 
right here, guys, this is like preschool, okay? Preschool or daycare. And then they go over here, which is like kindergarten. So if you guys remember kindergarten, maybe you're in, in kindergarten now, you learn how to play with others. That's exactly what these girls do in here. So they learn how to get along with one another. And as you can see, most of them are brown. number is so this one's 1683 <laughs> and so that white tag is actually a microchip there's a little computer microchip in there and that lets us know how much that calf drinks every day which is really important now as I open the other door you take a look down here that's another group of calves they're a little bigger so that's about second and third grade These girls have been on milk a little longer and they're very friendly. Okay, so to feed the babies, we feed them. Um, so when they're in the individual pens, they get milk from mom. And in here, they get like a formula, a formula. So for like infant formula, if you have a younger brother or sister at home, you can see, well that one's um, actually water. They're being weaned. This one over here, this is the machine, it's a robot. And it feeds the calves. And in here we have, this is formula. So it's just like baby formula, but it's obviously formulated, which means it is it has special things in it for baby calves. So what happens is it gets mixed up down here with warm water and it goes out this tube out through here and we're gonna show you what's on the other end. But before we do that, we need to show you this. This is another computer. That tells us how much the calves drink, which is really important for their health. So let's go back out quick. So you can see the other end of the robot. So as you can see, everybody's pretty much uh, had supper tonight. Walk over here. The calf usually comes in this way, and there's a nipple right here. And so they drink off of that. Oh, you can see some of that right there. All right. So, guys, that is our calf barn. So, just know that what we do in here is really important because these girls are the future of our herd. And I'm going to show you my favorite cow, Snickerdoodle, because Snickerdoodle is what these girls will become which is pretty neat. Are you ready? Here we go. Last wow. Okay guys, so those little baby calves that you just saw, they're gonna grow into the size of Miss Snickerdoodle here. Snickerdoodle weighs about a thousand pounds, if not a little more. So there's always questions that I get. And Snickerdoodle has two of them. And let me grab them here. While she's eating, we might get a little closer. The first question, is do you separate the cow and calf? So 
to, guys, I did talk about that a little bit. Do you remember why we separate cows and calves? Why do we put calves in those individual stalls? Remember, it's for the safety of the calf and for the cow, and so we can monitor their health, right? Remember about the immune system of a calf? It's not as strong as yours was when you were born. Let's look at the second one Snickerdoodle brought me. How many stomachs does a cow have? Guys, you know this. How many stomachs does a cow have? Is it one, two, three, or four? You said four, you would be correct. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you tune in tomorrow too. We are, what are we doing tomorrow, Snickerdoodle? Oh, we're talking about cow health. So we're gonna talk a lot more about Snickerdoodle tomorrow. And don't forget to tune in Friday for the live session because we're gonna be doing something really fun then too. Thanks guys.